1960, it was a difficult transition time in Columbia. We had a movie theater that we went to, but we always sat up in the balcony. And if I wanted to get an ice cream cone and I'd walk in the front door, I'd stand right there at the front of the counter. I couldn't sit down. Now, Stu would be sitting there, but I couldn't sit down. And then she'd tell me, she, we'd play this little game. She'd come and tell me, I can't serve you up there. And I'd have to walk down to the end of the counter on the other end, and she'd bring me an ice cream cone then. But she wouldn't serve me up front. Now, that's crazy. See, in Columbia, all the black people lived in basically a, probably a 14-block radius. There was a practice called redlining where they would block out certain areas of town and that was the only place that black people could live or could buy property. I did not have the opportunity as a child to know a lot of black people. I just didn't uh, because we were pretty much separated. It wasn't until uh, probably five or six years, maybe eight years after uh, Brown versus the Board of Education, that Columbia schools were actually integrated. It was a struggle for everyone. Remember, we were pretty much of a segregated community. Uh, people felt like uh, a segregated community, and they didn't quite know how to accept each other. Either way, blacks or whites. Back in the days of the movement, you know, you had your, your ministers uh, who were leaders, you had your NAACP leaders, you had your activists, uh, it, it, you had your marchers and your protesters. Uh, you even, uh, toward the mid-60s, uh, started developing more radical uh, uh, approaches to, to change. Elliot, I don't believe, fit in any of those molds. He was a person who could bring individuals or groups together to common ground, which may not have been possible were it not for his unique style. On the other hand, Elliot kept himself completely in the background, always supportive of somebody else, always supportive of the process, always supportive of the community, always supportive of the school district. And uh, someone like that you just uh, feel great about.